Na zdrowie! Polska vodka! Cheers! Dobre vodka! Right, I need to get that alcohol in me to warm me up. It's really cold, as you can see, it's snowing. But the main reason why I'm out here today freezing myself is because I am going to try Mietka Sibloa today. Or is it Metka Sibilova? Let me know. Did I say it right the first time or the second time? Anyway, I have this spread, this Polish spread that I got in the shop in Sushets in a village while I was doing a village tour. And I think it's a whip shover. So I guess that's pork. I first brought Metka Sibilova in Sushets in a village. And I really enjoyed it. I done the village tour and I tried it on the spot and it was absolutely delicious. Best Polish sprint I've ever had, ever had. Right, so I tried to, I tried to get it again and it was really impossible. I went to Żabka, Groszek, all of the shops and most of the butchers in Poland and they never had any. I was even told by my audience to go to Biedronka I went to Biedronka and they never had it either. So now I finally found a place where to get it and it was in Jestrebnie. And I went to the butchers, but before I went to the butchers, I asked a few people and they directed me to a Polish butchers. And here we have it. We can finally have Mietka Sibolova. This one is a different brand compared to the one that I had last time. And it says 94% miasa. So that is 94% meat. And Sibolova is onion. So it's meat and onion. So I'm looking forward to trying it. And I got myself some Tiski beer, which is a Polish beer. I'm probably gonna go to that brewery sometime soon because I know exactly where it is. So look forward to that video as well, coming soon. Right, so Mietka Sibylova, here we go. So I have some Polish bread I got in Jestrebnia as well from the Prokania. The lady in the bakery, she was really nice. If you have not watched that video, go and check out that video. It's my last video on my YouTube channel. So I got a loaf of Polish bread in the bakery. So what I'm going to do now is open the Polish bread and I'm going to butter it up and put the Metka Sibolova, Sibolova on the bread, okay? But I have a really special invention that I would like to show you. I thought of doing something spontaneous with the Metka Sibolova. I'm going to season it up and prepare it in a way that it's never been prepared before or a way that I have never seen it prepared. So what I thought of, I'm going to put it on some bread. I've got some paprika and I have some onion and I have garlic and I'm going to try it just like that. But before I try it like that, I'm going to try it normally on some bread and let you guys know how it tastes because it's good. And I want you guys to know how much Metka Sibilova is really great. Here goes. Right, so time to open the bread. This is the Polish bread I got in Prokania in Jestrebnie. There's not much happening in Jestrebnie. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll tell you what's going on in Jestrebnie. They have a market there and they have small bakeries and a small butchers. It's not really your average touristic location. It's just a place where the locals would go. So this is the bread, really, really nice load of bread. And you know what I've noticed with um, Europeans, they use um, this thing called, I'm not sure what this seeded thing is called, but they tend to use that in their cuisines, in the food. All right, so we are now going to try the Polish bread. You lot, do you have a specific popular bread that you lot go to the shop and buy? I cannot remember the name of this Polish bread, but she said it's a good bread. And I told her, I need this bread for Metka Sibylova. 
So I hope it's good. Because in my last video, I asked my audience, can they show me, can they recommend me a bread? What is good for Mietka? So the price of these were 20 zloty for two. Right, here goes. It's now time to try it. Do you know what I'll do first? I am going to butter the Polski chleb. Right, so we have the butter now. We're just going to put the butter along on the bread. How many of you have tried Mietka Siblova? It does not look, to be honest with you, it doesn't look like something that a foreigner would pick up in the shop. You would have to know what you are buying if you pick this up and try this. But I spontaneously got this randomly and I really enjoy this. So I'm not sure how many of you have tried this bread before. Let me know and let me know what do you think of it if you like it because I really, really like it. Hmm. That one was easy to open. The one in Swishes, bloody hell, that was hard. Ooh. Oh, wow. So that's what it is. Let me smell it actually. Ooh. Mietka Sibloa. Wushmaku Wiatakoa. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do now is just smother it along the bread. Let's try this and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like and how it makes me feel. <laughs> Cheers, smachnego, smachnego. Right, so that's enough. You don't need to put on a lot, so it doesn't have much of a smell, here goes. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. It tastes like raw meat, but it tastes nice. It has the taste of onions inside the raw meat, but it does not taste too raw. It tastes flavored it has a little bit of a salty flavor and it goes nice with the butter on top of the bread but as i said i wonder is there a specific kind of bread that is good for this metka sibilova let me know please i'd really like to know mm. Mm. delicious mm. 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 Absolutely delicious. Right. I'm going to finish this. Mm. Really nice. Right. So this one, I'll compare it to the other one that I have tried. It does not taste different compared to the one that I have tried, but it is a different company. It's from a different company, but it's still Metka Sibloa. So I like it, nothing wrong. Now I'm going to show you a seasoned up version a version that you need to try for yourself, okay? Right, what we will do is we'll put the butter on and I thought to myself, nobody showed how to have this spread with a bit of paprika, onions, garlic, make it look nice, dress it up, add your own seasoning, your own flavors. So I thought, why not give it a go and see how it tastes? 
And that's exactly what we're going to do now, okay? So, we are trying it in the second variation. Okay, so that should be enough. And then what I would do is I'm going to smother it, but this time I want to have more. Have a look, look at the meat. Wow, it's delicious. Let me know, do you not think this looks nice? <laughs> if you saw this in the shop, would you buy this? Would you try it? Because sometimes, you know, like, you should not judge something by look. Because you never know. So I'm going to use the plate and I will chop the onion on the chopping board. I know for a fact I have enough medka on the bread. So is the medka the name of the meat or the spread? Because I know sibilova is onion. So is medka the name of the spread or is it just the name of the, the sausage i'm not sure right so i buttered the bread the polish bread and i put the metka siblova on top so now i'm just going to put the the garlic on top of the the bread like this so i'm going to chop the garlic and you, could, you guys can do this yourself because you know what I'm about to show you is going to be delicious. Really delicious, absolutely. I think we need to use two garlics for this because from what I can see, it looks like one is just not enough. And I like garlic on my food. Garlic is really healthy actually. What I'm going to do now is put the garlic on top of the bread like that and as you can see that already looks delicious so the garlic is now on the the bread great that looks nice so next will be the onion so we have one onion here already Right, so next, I'm going to place the onion on top of the bread. If you want to know if I'm cold, I'm bloody freezing. <laughs> All right, so this is the onion. All right, so we just peel off the skin and then we'll just do it like this, slice the onion. And then after I slice the onion, I better not chop my finger. You, I will just place the onion on top. And this reminds me of how I would prepare Twarushki. Twarushki is a smelly Czech cheese. What you would add paprika, onion, garlic, and you put the Twarushki on top of the bread and it's really nice. And the reason why I thought of that is because it reminded me of how I would prepare Twarushki. I also have a video on my YouTube channel, how to prepare Twarushki. Next, I'm going to put dill on top. You lot, you have never seen this before. Nobody prepare. Metka Sibolova on bread like this. I am sure I am the first person that has produced to you that this is the best way to prepare it. Right, now is the paprika. Paprika is not spicy. It, it says, um, on the package that it, it's spicy, but for me, paprika is not spicy. Do you know what is spicy for me? Sc Scotch bonnet pepper. <laughs> right. So here we have it. This is my invention, how to prepare Metka Sibolova. 
Right, here goes. <laughs> I'm really looking, look, 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 look how it looks. Wow, have a look at that. Ooh, wee, yes. <laughs> yeah, here goes. All right, smash nigga. Here we go. One second, please. If you have Medka Sebelova, you have to use the ingredients which I just showed you. It just changes the taste. This is absolutely delicious. This is the best way so far that I have tried Metka Sibilova. And do you know what? It tastes a little bit spicy, maybe because I seasoned it up with the paprika, the garlic, and the onion. Really, really delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Right. That was the best way to have Metka Sibilova, the best. Catch me in the next video. Dovidzenia. <laughs> that was awesome, epic. Mm. Mm. Mm.